Look here, Washington State Police cracking down on drivers who moved to Washington but never got Washington plates. This video is from a crackdown this week at Harney Elementary School in Vancouver. So we wanted to learn more about this particular crackdown and some of the reaction to it. Trooper Will Finn with Washington State mm. Patrol joins us in studio. And you've gotten some criticism over this method, but you're saying these people were warned repeatedly. Absolutely. We, we have made every attempt to contact the drivers of these vehicles um, that have been identified over the course of the last few months, whether it be uh, through citizen complaints or observation by troopers who have physically gone out and monitor the traffic flow coming in and out of that school. So just to back up, uh, let's say I move from Oregon into Washington. What, what's the period of time that I have before I get the plates switched? 30 days. Just 30 days. You okay. have 30 days. Once you've established residency within the state of Washington, you have 30 days. And the first step of that is to go and get a Washington state driver's license and then to go into Department of Motor Vehicles and register your vehicle or vehicles at that point. And what is the penalty for folks you caught up with? Well, the, the penalty is $1,122 for, well, <laughs> for failing to That's register. some motivation. <laughs> Absolutely. But again, when you, when you talk, we don't go 31 days and, and write the infraction and say, hey, you didn't comply. Again, we go back and we try to give every opportunity possible for motorists to or, or residents to register their vehicle. This is typically the what? $60 ballpark fee is what it costs in Washington, I believe Clark County anyway, to get your license plate. Somewhere around there. Right? I think every county or, or is a little different. is different. Yes. So this method mm -hmm. of stopping parents as they're dropping kids at school, mm -hmm. I mean, it seems that you feel if they're dropping kids there, they live in Washington and may have an Oregon plate. You have to live in Washington in order to send your child to exactly. a particular school. Exactly. So yeah. it would seem like uh, a method that would make sense, but mm -hmm. what has been the criticism you've been hearing? We, we've scared the children. We're, we're targeting a demographic, um, and that's that's just not the case. Again, it goes back. We've been working this area for the last couple months through observation and citizen complaints. This isn't the first time we've done this. Uh, we, we had another um, emphasis back in uh, October out in the Battleground School District, which was very well received. And this one here is being well received as well. We did uh, visit two schools yesterday, um, but there's there's always there's a small majority out there that doesn't agree with the, with the method of doing this. So Trooper Finn, I say to you, well, this is a tax. I'm supposed to pay the $60 tax ballpark figure in Washington. Is there is there another reason more to it than that why it's important to get my license plates transferred over? Absolutely. So number one, you're conforming with the law. Number two, you're paying the usage fee for the roadways, just like everybody else, just like your neighbors. Uh, when you look at two neighbors who live next door to each other and one has out-of-state plates while you have in-state plates and you conform with the law, there's some aggression that could be seen there of, I'm paying my way, why aren't you paying yours? Yeah. Um, and then it also goes to the other aspects of that. Th this is tens of millions of, of dollars that is being lost every single year by folks not registering their vehicles. Now you take that same out-of-state person, we'll use Oregon as an example. Uh, now we're in doing retail shopping and now we're able to produce an Oregon driver's license and not pay taxes on the retail dollars even though you're a citizen of, of Washington and you're shopping mm -hmm. in Washington. So yeah. it, it just keeps going and going and going. The, the legislators have identified this as a, um, as a priority for them, and that's why they've given dedicated dollars to this program, and that's why we're out there actively working it. Any yeah. tip on where you're showing up next? <laughs> uh, not today. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we need our fair tax dollars in Washington State. I will stick up for legal, you, sir. right, you. Mr. Yes. County? Yes, right. that's right. <laughs> Ashley, um, go to you now for KGW Investigation. Yeah.